We're starting brand new, we're quitting jobs, we're leaving friends, and we are starting a new life over in Canada. The decision to move to Halifax came about election night. It was shock and then it was just disheartening. We jokingly said, well, I guess it's time to move to Canada. Heather got online and she went to the immigration website. Canada's immigration website has crashed. I guess a lot of people had the same idea. Obviously, a lot of family and friends did not think we were serious, but as I joined newsletters, as I became more educated on the process of immigration, they did start to realize slowly but surely that we're, we're moving. And we started doing more research about Canada, and we found that the ideals just aligned more greatly with, with ours. We started in January. We hit the ground running with background checks, with employment history, with you have to have a certain amount of savings. At the end of April, we went up and visited Halifax, Nova Scotia. We wanted to see how, how the character measured up in real life as opposed to through a screen. And we picked out apartments, we kind of browsed you know, businesses for job opportunities. It, it really solidified our decision to move there. The people are incredible. I'm a sunshine person. I love blue skies and sunshine and I do know that it is a little bit more overcast up there so that will also just be a climate adjustment is probably one of my biggest concerns. One of the biggest concerns was jobs. I work as a termite technician and Canada has termites. <laughs> I am currently an office manager. I've done admin for six years now plus. Um, I am getting my MBA so I would like to kind of combine that experience and maybe seek out a new profession. We'll still retain our American citizenship while being Canadian permanent residents, which means we can partake in everything up in Canada aside from voting. We just can't vote. I'm excited to just dive into what it is to live like a Canadian. So we'll just kind of play it by ear. I, I, who knows, you know, I would love to get up there and stay up there and fall in love with it and maybe one day become a Canadian citizen. <laughs>